Now that you have Mobile XTERM installed and ready to run, you will have to connect to either Hockey or Einstein remote servers using their respective portal addresses, which are as shown here. Now, these are the servers that contain Cadence Virtuoso installed in them. To do so, open Mobile XTERM and click on the session button on the top left of the window screen. And it will open a window called session settings. Now I'm going to click on secure shell session, which is going to give me a window as shown. Here, you will have to enter the portal address of the server that you've chosen. And in this video, I have chosen the Einstein server for which the portal address is this. I will enter the address here and keep the remaining entries the same and press OK. Now this will create a new session on the Einstein server. And I will have to enter my login credentials, which are my Sackling credentials. The setup has to be done only once, just the first time that you log in. From the next time, you will just have to use your credentials. And if you get this message, it means that you've successfully logged into the Einstein server. Now I will be making a new directory using the command mkdir and name it triple 234 And I will enter this directory using the command cd. In this directory, we will be launching our Cadence Virtuoso workspace and creating new projects. In the next videos, while designing the inverter schematic, I will be using GPDK45 nanometer technology for which the model files need to be inserted into the Cadence workspace. To do that, I'll first obtain the model files and copy them into this directory. The model files will be available to you on the Canvas modules and you can download them and unzip them to copy them into this directory. Initially, as you can see here, the total number of files in this directory are zero. And now I'll be copying these three files into this directory. If you do not see your directory, so the first time that you see on this list, then click on the green button that says refresh folder and it's going to give you your directory. Enter the directory and drag and drop the file that you want to copy. And as you can see, the model files have been uploaded into the Einstein server from my local desktop. Now that the model files are loaded and ready to go. You can now fire up the Cadence Virtuoso workspace by using Virtuoso ampersand command. And this will give you the command interpreter window for Cadence Virtuoso EDA2, from which you can navigate to the library manager where you will be actually designing the schematics. Now to open library manager window, click on tools and choose library manager. And as you can see, the GPDK 45 nanometer technology library has been already preloaded. Now, if you can open this window, it means that you are now ready to design your inverter schematic. 